how can we convert any 2D image reference into 3D mesh without modeling it in Blender? So here we are in Blender. So the first step to do is going to be to delete everything we got in the scene. So we can press A, A so that we can select everything. And we can press X and delete the selected objects. After that, I'd like to add a plane, but I'd like to be on the top orthographic. So we can press 7 on the numpad. So this way we're going to be jumping to the top orthographic. So from here we can press Shift A. And let's go to Mesh and we can use a plane. So we're going to be stamping our logo into this plane. So the first step is going to be to match the same dimensions that we got in our 2D reference image. So let's jump back to our reference image. By the way, we're going to find it in the resources to download it. So we can do a right click and we can jump to properties. And inside the details here, we're going to see the dimensions, which is 1200 multiplied by 1500. So we need to get the same dimensions. So let's go back to our Blender scene. So we can select our plane and we can press N so that we can access this item here. So once you access the item, you're going to be seeing the dimensions on the bottom. So we got 1200 multiplied by 1500. So we can do something like 12. And on the Y, it's going to be 15. We're keeping the same scale, 12 to 15. 1200 to 1500. But on the bottom here, you can see warning. So we got the active object has non-uniform scale. So this scale here should not be like this. So when scaling objects on object mode, so you're going to be messing up with the scale. So what we need to do once we finish scaling is press Ctrl A and you need to apply the scale. So now you set the scale back to 1, 1 and 1. So we're going to be using the Displace modifier to stamp our 2D logo into our plane. But before we can do that, we have to subdivide our plane. Because right now, if we switch to the edit mode, from the object mode, if we switch to the edit mode, we're going to find that our plane has only 4 vertices, which is not enough to stamp anything on it. So what we can do, we can press Ctrl E so that we can access these settings and we can click on subdivide. And I'd like to increase the subdivisions here up to 10 or even up to 50. Let me just type 50 here. So you're going to get back and add more. So now it has enough geometry to stamp our logo. So next step to do, it's going to be to jump to the modifiers here and we can add a new modifier. It's going to be the displays. We can search for displays modifier. This one inside the deform category. Let me just expand this modifiers panel. And I'd like to click on new. So this is the textures properties. We can just click on new texture. And by doing that, if you scroll down here, you're going to find the texture properties added. So you can just click here and let's load our image. You can just click on open. And I want you to double click on your Spider-Man logo. So double click. Now we got it. So now we can go back from the edit mode back to the object mode. And let's take a look at it. So it's not clear. So basically our logo is repeated multiple times. So what we can do, we can jump back here to the modifiers. And instead of having the coordinates set to local, we can change it to UV. And there we go. So we got it stamped. So I'd like to push the logo outwards. So what we can do, we can reverse the strength because the way the displace modifier works, it takes the black and push it down and the white, it pushes it up. So what we can do, we can just reverse the strength. So let's set it to minus one. So this way we're going to be popping up the logo. I'm going to press N to hide this panel. And as you can see, it's low quality. It's pixelated. So what we need to do, we have to increase the subdivisions. So let me just select my plane here. We can switch to edit mode and we can press Ctrl E. Yeah, let's subdivide. I'd like to subdivide, let's say three times. So just to be careful here, you might have some lagging on your computer. So this way we can go back to the object mode and you can see that it's getting better and better. We can add one additional subdivision. Control E, add one additional subdivision. There we go. So now it's much more clear. So the next step is going to be to extract our logo from the plane, from the rest of the plane. So what we can do, we can select our logo here and we can apply the displace modifier. So if you click on this drop down right here, you're going to find this apply button. So we can just click on it. So now it's applied. It's not a mesh, but it's... So after that, we can press tab so that we can switch to edit mode. And I'd actually press 1 so that you can be facing it from the front here. You can press 1. There we go. And after that, I'd actually press Z and switch to the wireframe. So the reason why we're switching to the wireframe, let me just keep stay back on the solid. So if we select, for example, this bar here, so we want to be able to select everything. You can see that on the other side, nothing is selected. So if we want to select everything, let me just press 1. We can switch to the wireframe or you can check this X-ray toggle. So in my case, I'm going to press Z, switch to the wireframe and we can select 
this bottom here and we can press X and let's delete those vertices. So now we are left with only the logo. So what we can do, we can press A to grab it all and we can try S, Z and let's scale it up like this just so that we can get rid of those residues. Also, you can press zero so that you can have it flat. Let's just left click. So there we go. So now it's completely flat. So now we can go back to the solid. We can press Z and switch back to solid. There we go. So now it's perfect. So now it's time to start the cleaning process of our logo. So if you press seven so that we can go to the top and if we zoom in, you're going to find that it has, so our logo is dense in geometry in the center. So actually all we need is just the edge. So the way to extract the edge of our logo is by pressing A to select everything. And we can try E to extrude it up like this. After that, we can just left click outside here so that we can deselect everything. And we can jump to select and we can select sharp edges. So now only the edges are selected. So what we can do, we can press one so that we can be facing the front and I'd like to deselect the bottom. You can deselect the top or the bottom. In my case, I'd like to deselect the bottom. So you can press Z again so to switch the wireframe so you can be able to grab everything. And we can press B so that you can use the box selection. After that, we can press Shift and left click to drag down. So this way we're going to be excluding the bottom selection. So now we are selecting only the top. After that, we can press Shift D to duplicate this. You can do right click and using the move tool, you can simply drag it to the side here. And after that, we can press B to separate selection. And here at the top, let me just go back to the object mode and we can select it. So now we are extracting only the edge. So the next step to do, it's going to be to smooth out the edges. As you can see, the edges are not smooth. They are pixelated. So what we can do, let me just press seven so that we can jump to the top. And I'd like to switch from the edit mode back to the object mode. We can select our logo. And in the modifiers, we can search for smooth. Let's search for smooth modifier, this one here. And I'd like to zoom in here, for example, to this part, and we can start scaling up this factor to something like this and we can increase the repetition up let's say 15 or 16. let me just double check the factor here so what if, if we set it back to one so i think it's going to be fine if we set it to one and there we go so now the edges are smoother so now it's time to apply this smooth modifier so we can just click here and apply the smooth modifier and we can select our mesh and switch to the edit mode so we got another problem. So we have a lot of vertices here. So we weren't going to need this much of vertices. So we have to clean it up to keep it low poly. So what we can do, we can jump here to edge and unsubdivide. So there we go. So you can see that we are unsubdividing our mesh. So we can even increase that up, the number of iterations, I think. Three, it's going to be perfect. All right, so after that, I'd like to switch to the solid. So we can press Z, switch to the solid. And we can press F to fill this logo like this so now it has only 715 vertices which is pretty much reasonable and the next step is going to be to give it some depth so to do that we can jump back to the modifiers and we can add the solidify modifier we can increase the thickness up to something like one and that's perfect let me just go back here to the object mode and we can do right click and shade auto smooth so that you can smooth out the edges of our logo so as a final step i'd like to add the bevel modifier so that we can get rid of these sharp edges you can see that we got some sharp bad sharp edges here so let's select our logo and we can jump back to the modifiers and we can search or add a new modifier it's gonna be the bevel this one right here the first one but you can see that there is no change so the bevel is not taking effect which means that we got some problems with the geometry so if we switch to the edit mode so let me just zoom in here you're gonna find that the ends here they got some problems so it should not be like this so what we need to do we have to merge the these parts so all the ends have this problem here so the way to fix it is by pressing a to select all the geometry and we can press m and merge by distance so for example you can merge each one alone for example you can select this part press m merge at the center but it's going to take a while to do it for everything. So the shortcut, let me just revert back. So the shortcut to do it fast is by selecting all the vertices. So we can press M and we can merge by distance. So this way we can specify or we can estimate this distance here. We can just keep increasing this merge distance. Let me just get rid of another zero here. As you can see, two vertices are removed. So we need to keep increasing 
this amount, this merged distance, until this part here is merged. I'm going to just add another zero here. All right, so that's good. So I'd like to increase that number. So the two, we can increase it to 25 or even 35. So there we go. So we got no double in here. So 48 vertices are removed, which is perfect. And if we zoom into the edges, you're going to find that the beveling, the bevel modifier is taking effect. Let me just zoom back to the bevel here and we can increase the segments up to, let's say, five. So now the edges are pretty much smooth and we got clean geometry. We can also change the shading so that you can see our logo even better. I'd like to switch the matte cap and I'd like to use this shading right here. So there we go. So we can virtual our 2D image reference into 3D logo in Blender without modeling it. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in a future project. Take care.